Germany is helping Ghana to build a 25 million euros electronic waste recycle facility and it's ready. Recycling is the process of collecting and processing materials that would otherwise be thrown away as trash and turning them into new products. Recycling can benefit your community and the environment. The German government is supporting the government of Ghana to build a 25 million euros facility to recycle electronic waste and electronic components in Ghana. The first phase of the project will be completed by the end of this year 2022. Electronic waste or e-waste describes discarded electrical or electronic devices. Use electronics which are destined for refurbishment, reuse, resale, salvage recycling through material recovery or disposal are also considered e-waste. According to Dr. Kwaku Afridi, who is Ghana's Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation. Hard work and perseverance overcometh everything. And if you not work hard, you are not deserving of the meal that you take. In this video, we will share with you why the government of Ghana and that of Germany are constructing this electronic waste recycling facility. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to Africa Reloaded as we move along. How is recycling of e-waste done in your country? Tell us about that in the comment section as we move on to show you what Ghana does with its e-waste. The federal government of Germany has decided to commit a total of 25 million euros to alleviate the environmental impact of electronic waste in Ghana as part of its development cooperation with Ghana in the field of electronic waste management and recycling. This was announced on March 13, 2017, at an official ceremony at the Alisa Hotel attended by H.E. Christoph Ritzlaff. Ambassador of the Federal Republic of Germany to Ghana, Han. A number of countries, including Ghana, have witnessed considerable, considerable growth in the use of renewable energy. Germany, my country, is pleased to be once again a partner of this renewable energy fair. Prof. Kwebna Frimpong, Boteng, Minister for Environment, Science, Technology and Innovation, officials from the German Embassy and the Ministry, and members of the press. The three-year e-waste collection and recycling mechanism aims to address the country's e-waste challenges. The project's focal point is the Agbablashi Waste Site, where toxic substances emitted by cable burning pollute both the environment and the sea on a daily basis. The most hazardous e-waste substances will be purchased from the informal sector at competitive prices, collected in a handover center, and put to tender for sound recycling under the project. Consumer electronics are now a part of our day-to-day -day life. In fact, they are now a symbol of modernity, but they also produce a lot of waste, including toilet material, and they are a threat to the environment and to the health of humans. In Ghana, the problem of electronic waste is getting worse day in day out because most of the electronic entering the Ganyan market are second-hand products. We all know that second-hand products have a shorter lifespan which gives them a quicker journey to wastelands. In Ghana and most African countries, we have our own ways of handling these electronic waste by some people collecting them from our various homes and selling them to people who have the knowledge to recycle these e-waste into different things. This method provides jobs for thousands of people in Africa. Even though they are helping to create employment, and at the same time, they are also helping to reduce the e-waste in our various countries, but their method of processing these electronic waste is very poor. And because of their poor working conditions, they create land and air pollution. 
The government of Ghana recognized this challenge, and they developed a legal framework to solve this problem in 2016. Poverty is a daily reality that we live with and feel. For far too many of our people are burdened with it. So in the year 2017, the federal government of Germany decided to help Ghana with an amount of 25 million euros to build a facility to recycle electronic waste, electronic equipment in Ghana. The aim of these 25 million euros when, not just to build the facility to recycle waste and electronic equipment, but also to help reduce the environmental impact of electronic waste and transitioning this waste through proper and sound procedures. Now in 2022, the first phase of the facility is about 65% completed. This was made known when the Ghana Minister for Environment Science, Technology and Innovation to Dr. Kwaku Afriyi toured the facility in Accra to check the level of work done so far. The product will do a lot of good by increasing the country's revenue creating employment and preventing health hazards. health center financed by the German federal state of North Rhine-Westphalia will also be stationed on the site for the workers and their families. The project consists of two parts, a grant of 20 million euros from the KFW Development Bank to serve as a seed fund for the future recycling fund, and a grant of 5 million euros from the implementing agency GIZ to raise awareness about the most harmful practices. In his speech, Ambassador Ritzlaff stated that, while Ghana is quickly becoming a beacon in West Africa in electronic waste management, as a result of the passage of the Hazardous and Electronic Waste Law in 2016, the worldwide notoriety gained by the Agba Blashi waste site is a blow to this record. He did note, however, that the workers at the site are highly organized, effective, and specialized in their work which is where this project comes in to partner with them by providing incentives to get the harmful substances out and recycle them in a sustainable manner. How much is that copper worth? It's, 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 it's 80 Ghana. The project is being constructed by Memphis Metropolitan Limited and Nana Denkwa is the senior project manager. The project could have been completed this month said Nana Denkwa, but due to the COVID-19 and other factors, including unavailability of materials and workers amongst others, it delayed, but they will be able to complete construction by the end of this year. The facility is sited on a three-acre land and consists of a temporal storage, recycling center, weighing bridge, guide house, and transformer amongst others. This facility will focus on collecting, recycling, and reselling of all types of electronic waste, including cables, batteries, thermoplastics, and cathode ray tube TV. Upon completion, the dumping of e-waste all over Ghana will limit it. This will create more jobs and protect the environment and health of humans. Thanks for taking out the time to watch this video to the end. Please comment so that we could also know your thoughts on how e-waste is managed in your country or community. Do not forget to like, share, and turn on the notification icon for more updates from Africa Reloaded.